I wasn't recording if you were hoping that was uh Oh well. I thought you were. I thought we were already going. <laughs> I am now if you wanna if you wanna if you wanna No, it's, to... it's done and gone now. This is reaction natural flow. It's can't be improv if you do it twice. It wasn't funny anyway. Our stupid reactions. Tune in for the <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our Super Direct GD. It's up, Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter from all cheeks. Instagram. Frickin' Twitter, man. Thank you for following us on Patreon. Thank you so much. And follow our official Twitter account. Ring the bell to follow the notification squad. Bang! Today, you giblets. Uh, we are reacting to a... It just came out, uh, I think, on the 30th. Um, but it's uh, from Vice. Uh, it's a short video, but it's called How Bollywood Icon Irfan Khan Changed Hollywood. Uh, I'm very interested in that title. Uh, I am too. Because um, I don't know what they'd be, I don't know what they're saying. I'm, maybe they're saying for Indian actors because he was probably the best and most iconic one from India to come over to Hollywood. Yeah, that's my hope is what we're going to see is some uh, current actors working in the industry who are from India. Mm-hmm. who give credit to the fact that he was a trailblazer in terms of being... Uh, I, I don't know that there was any role he ever took that was your stereotypical, insulting Indian role that is was put in a lot of films and cartoons and things like that where someone's playing the stereotypical Indian. I'm hoping they say maybe that has something to do with the fact that Irfan caused Hollywood to look at Indian actors as being more than just caricatures of, of, of a stereotype, you know? Or Bollywood dancers or something. Like yeah, that. exactly. Yeah, I uh, hope that's what they say, or among other things. Three, two, one, go. The important thing is, you know, uh, it doesn't matter how much money you put in the heart, you know, if, you, if the heart is in the right place, you don't need anything, you know. It's, it's, it crosses the barrier of language, the nationality, the race, everything. That's the magic of cinema. Mm-hmm. Well, well. The slumdog box. <laughs> so your story does have a happy ending. Well, well that's up to you. 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 The story is yours now. It's yours now. <laughs> the key to a happy life is to accept you are never actually in control. Yep. Every industry, every film industry wants to typecast you. I have been offered terrorist part, you know, hundreds, hundreds of times. Really, hundreds? Yes, yeah. Uh, in India, in America, if you're exploring the subject, then I'm interested in it. And if you are mm. encashing the, 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 the fear of people or, you know, the biases of people, then it doesn't, you know, it, it doesn't interest me. I suppose in the end, the whole of life becomes an act of letting go. But what always hurts the most is not taking a moment to say goodbye. That was way too short. That was way uh, too short. Yeah. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. That was way too short. I did love what he did say about um, the fact it makes it actually not surprising at all that he was offered a terrorist role hundreds of times yeah yeah and uh, that he would break types but i mean that doesn't that tells us how he felt about stereotypes it doesn't tell us how he changed hollywood yeah and so uh, yeah hold on i have a different video uh that i i'll just tack onto this one that i guess is similar okay. um i think this is a bunch of uh stars talking about your phone okay uh, um and i'll send that to you but yeah i i make it's actually not surprising at all though that um I, because I'd imagine like a terrorist role he would take on would be something like we've seen Raj Kumar Rao do, where he's been like uh, Shahid. I think there was a film. Uh, I think mm-hmm. he's been a terrorist a couple of times, but they're more mm-hmm. exploring that subject and that right. character as opposed to this is a scary terrorist. 
look how scared exactly. Um, exactly. So I'm sure he, even though we would love, he would be an amazing Bond villain. He probably would never be a Bond villain, I'd, I'd imagine, if it's like a terrorist. Yeah, that's exactly, that's exactly what came to my mind was he, he would never take a Bond villain no matter what they were paying. And, he, his, you know, because his heart, his choices are evident when he had the option to do Interstellar or The Lunchbox. Which of those two kinds of films, based on what we know about Irfan Khan, who's the quintessential thespian artist, which of those two is he going to feel like he can really sink his teeth into and has a message that's going to say something about a human being? And, uh, you know, the other one, he would have done great. It's a great film. But the two roles, he would have had the Matt Damon role in Interstellar. Oh, come on. It's lunch. Uh, if you're on his creative team, you're saying lunchbox, man. Yeah. Lunchbox. And if you're his agent, uh, you're like the Martian. <laughs> if you're his agent or his manager, you're saying Christopher Nolan, Hollywood, you're going to get a bump in pay. You're going to be known. You're going to, you know, uh, he, that's one of the things aside from his acting legacy. Uh, I, I would say that one of the things that's most inspiring to me about the man as well is the more I'm learning about him and his choices, not just his choices with his, his acting, but his choices with his career and his legacy, that this man was a true artist. He was not doing this for money or fame. He was doing this going on a trail of discovery of what he could do with this art form and what stories he could tell. I, I just admire the man so much. All right, let's watch this one real quick, okay? Okay, yep. Right, three, two, one, go. I, I will show you better bodies in Lokanwala hey. complex. Yeah. Uh, I'll show you better figures in uh, Mandra. Uh, it doesn't. I. Uh, you, but show me one one more Irfan Khan. You can't. That's my point. But if you're talking of acting, I challenge you to show me one more Irfan Khan. Irfan Khan. No, there I think one. I consider myself really fortunate that I get to work with actors like them. You know, and he's he's just a delight to watch. You know, there were times when I'm not needed in a particular shot or in a particular scene, but I just want to sit with Shujit behind the monitor and just watch him perform. He's Heck just... yes. Makhan. In fact, uh, you've, you, you've got a huge fan uh, in the shape of Irfan Khan. And uh, he told me personally that uh, he feels that uh, Piku is uh, not only uh, one of your finest performances, maybe in the last 10 years or something, I think it, he's, he says that it's one of your finest performances ever. Oh gosh. Uh, considering that he's, he's a very fine actor himself. He's you, tremendous. Right, so uh, yeah. how do you... Feel the when he's been say anything mm. and says it all. That's exactly. his quality. Uh -huh. Would you personally consider it as one of your finest? Mind points? speaks first, mm -hmm. and then it comes on yeah. his face. Yeah, good observation. So you know exactly what he's saying. I mean, there are many mo moments in the film where mm. he doesn't say anything, yet you can read what he's saying. Yeah, absolutely. So you can hear what he's saying. Yeah. yeah. Hey. <laughs> yeah, I have worked with Irfan, um, Irfan before, and right. he's a, I mean, phenomenal mm. actor. Unka darja hi alag as as an actor and. Yeah. He comes on set and you know he knows what he's doing and he goes away. It's so easy for him. While working, at least for me, if I can speak, so uh, was you get to observe while working with an actor. That's very rare. Normally you're so immersed in a scene, yeah. you don't spend time observing how the actor goes about doing it. But mm. in his case, it was my first day on Gunda. I shot with him. Mm. I was a bit overwhelmed by that first day also. Uh, mm. But to see the guy, he he knows exactly what he has to do. Mm. It's very important for an actor to use his mind. He knows exactly how to make the scene happen in a certain way that his character needs. I think he's a very intelligent man. He knows exactly how to go about his craft. Also, he's, I he's, think you haven't seen yeah. Irfan sir in this space. Mm. Yeah, he's on a very commercial you know, in space. This, this yeah. is a commercial, yeah. glamorous film. And you haven't seen him in this kind of a space for a very long time. Going through an ailment like this, he's still so positive. And you know, if you see any of his writings or posts or tweets, he always seems to find some way to make you smile or, or stay positive. Uh, it's it's very, I think, awkward for us to be even promoting it without him. Because yeah, it's really incomplete. It's so, it's so, uh, it's so, I think, we was such a unit in the film, the three of us. And it was great fun working with him. He was had the most amazing energy. I mean, you've, uh, you know, interviewed him. Yeah, and so, I love him. I absolutely love him. Yeah, and we were, I was such a fan, uh, you know, when I signed the film. And so, working with him was just, it was like everything I, I expected it to be, you know. I thought uh, he, he, in person, he was exactly how we would imagine how your, uh, you know, sort of idol or that kind of a star to be. Right. It was great fun. He uh, very spontaneous and he's always improvising and full of ideas. And uh, he just made, I think, Shokan's character, you yeah. know, elevated it so much. Yeah, it's funny in the writing when you read it, but he just made it his own. Like really, Arjun's right. Observing him is like a lesson in itself. Mm -hmm. Just like you said, body language, you suffice the way he breaks the dialogue. He says it in some 
his own meter. To read a dialogue the way it's written on paper, and he says it completely different, makes it his own, and, and he says it in some unique meter that <coughs> is so unpredictable. The mm. punctuations are so unpredictable, mm -hmm. it makes him really watchable. So that's why he's so engaging. Mm. And of course, his eyes, I think, deserve a separate Oscar. Just <laughs> tells me, just speak. You tell me whatever. He just puts it in his head, and he will just talk to you, and and at what moment he will start performing, you will not know. And when we land, you'll not know. It's so uh, it's different school. Yep. Yeah. I would actually love to talk to. Uh, I think his name's uh, um, the director of. Um, the director of Piku. Uh, Suji. Uh, I forgot. What is his name? I know it starts with an S. Um. Anyways, but yeah, that's. Um, it's. I guess what you see. It's it's nice to that like what you see on film is what you also hear about him as a person uh especially from a director you can tell like that's just he's not acting right ever that's just who he is you don't know when he's just <laughs> done talking to you and when he's gonna start performing he's just exactly he, he's that good <laughs> right um, yeah he doesn't have an on and off switch it's just he's cut and he's still talking and then start and he's still talking and and i too if 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 he is one of those actors that if if you were ever honored to be in a film with him, any time you weren't working and you didn't have to be working with wardrobe or somebody else at any time, you, there's no way I'm sitting in my trailer. Mm -mm. I am behind the monitor and I am watching every single thing that man is doing at every moment as much as I possibly can to learn from him. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, to have, to have Amitak Bakshan talked about you like that is a you just you know how good you are when when that man talks highly of you, uh, and yeah. when you that's why Piku was so brilliant to watch. It's just watching th yeah three brilliant actors just that that oh, movie was so much fun. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna yeah, it, it was so now. great to see to to to, to watch watch and especially I remember when we did watch it. That was the movie for me that Depeka really jumped up and shined for me in the same way that in Barfi, I was like, who the freak is Priyanka? Uh, Piku was like, dang, Piku was like, man, Depeka is one heck of an actor. Look at her holding her own with freaking Amitabh Bakchan and Irfan Khan. And she is right there with them every frame of film. I just, I love that film. And it's a testament as well to, I'm sure, the generosity of Big B and and Irfan, their their generosity as people and as artists, I'm I'm sure she would tell you or what contributed to her doing so well on that thing. So yeah, Irfan, what can we say? <laughs> we love you. Our stupid reactions. Tune in for.